back foot drills now. We'll demonstrate those in a moment. What we're looking to do with the back foot, what I've marked here is middle stump and off stump. Early on in innings, we try to get across in behind the line of the ball. Okay, it's not wrong to stay inside the line of the ball, but the options are sometimes less because your hitting areas come more on offside, and it's probably a higher risk position when you stay inside the line of the ball. So early doors, and particularly with youngsters, we're looking to get them in strong positions and to play low risk cricket. So we're looking for the batter to get across in front of off stump. So I've drawn a line here just to give them reference points as well as the coaching staff so they can see how far they're getting across. And we're looking for them to hold shape. Okay, if I take the bat here, okay, we're looking for the shoulders to stay relatively side on and not get too chest on. If you get chest on, it's difficult to evade and duck. Okay, and there's a higher chance of obviously getting hit. Okay, so we're looking to hold shape there. Use the crease laterally, getting across round about off stump or maybe a little bit outside. Okay, and that enables you to play very safe, four to square, and get a good line on the ball. Okay, let's, uh, Nick, just go through a couple of shots there. Just shadow them. Excellent. Big believer in shadowing. Muscle memory enables the batter to feel what they're doing. And I encourage the batters to look after they've executed the shot just to see how far across they're getting. I'm going to now deliver some balls to Nick. Soft tennis balls, obviously. Very important that the batter's fully kitted. Again, I like to do all these drills fully kitted because that's how they're going to play the game. And particularly the short stuff, they need to have the helmet on. Very important. Okay, we'll deliver some balls. The delivery is important. I'm coming from low to high because that's how the delivery does come. And it needs to be at some reasonable pace. Once again, we're using the half bat to give us some feedback. Hold. Nick's getting across nicely. Yep, right in behind the line. Well played. Well played. Difficult delivery. Played it nicely. Soft hands. Okay. We'll move on. So that's the, that's the first drill on the back foot. Just working on that body position. Feet and shoulders. Okay. Now we'll practice some pull shots. What we're looking for in a pull shot is, again, getting inside the line. And we're looking at the hands being thrown nice and high and a good arm extension right through the line, hitting from high to low. There's nothing wrong with hitting from low to high. Also, obviously if there's no men in the deep there, low to high can be very effective. But for the drill here, we'll hit from high to low, okay? Weight stays pretty well central, coming back into the ball, and good bat speed, okay? Nick's coming down on it just a little bit too much at the moment. We just flatten that bat path out just a little bit. Leave the head central. Excellent, well done. Good free flow of the bat, good arm extension. Right, there's the one we're looking for. Excellent shot. See if we can get another couple of those. Excellent shot. Well played. Okay, thank you. All right, we'll do some cut shots now. Okay, this is a particularly difficult shot to do with the underarm delivery. Uh, we'll try it, but we may move over on the machine to, to uh, go over the pull on the cut. Let's see how we go with this. The delivery was, was not very good there, so uh, it's very, very important that delivery is uh, appropriate so the batter can get done what they need to. There we go. Hold, hold. What we're looking for from a cut shot is a good transference of weight across. Okay, the shoulders stay pretty well blocked off, facing where the ball's gone. Okay, and the head should be watching the ball go all the way to the boundary. We're looking for that good extension, okay, in the arms again. Just go through it again, Nick, demonstrate. Weight goes across into the ball, good extension, and the body faces where the ball's gone. Excellent. Okay, we'll see if we get one or two more. Well 
Well done. Well done. Too high. Well done. Now you must appreciate that all these drills that Nick's doing, he's doing with a half bat. So the level of skill, obviously you can do these with a full bat and they're not as challenging. Um, Nick's a reasonable player, so we're asking more of his skills and that's why he's using the half bat. And as I said, it does give us more feedback. Right, we're gonna move on now. We've covered <clears throat> some basic drills on the back foot. I'm just gonna show you one more. Okay, using a tennis ball, tennis racket. Okay, getting closer to game time. Okay.